Ah, I'm having to do the audio again because I got caught out. This is only a short video. So um, so I'm, I'm straight in there. I've marked all the, uh, the curves and circles um, of this kind of what I'm calling Art Deco. But, you know, is it Art Deco? I don't know. Anyway, I'm kind of coining that for what this kind of style of stuff is because it reminds me of that. But, you know, whether technically it's that or not doesn't matter to be honest it's just me trying to describe something it's me um, creating patterns um, and uh, I'll just point out my mistake of this is that I should have gone over this with a bit of sandpaper maybe a bit of 120 or something like that just to kind of give the surface uh, a chance to take the paint a little bit but I forgot so um, and once I'd started and I'd remembered you know that was that really um, so uh, yeah the background of this I the the video I made of the the full painting of the board with characters included this little bit got because it was sped up so much it got lost in the video and it was sort of mostly about the characters getting painted which took a lot longer um, so this is me doing the first coat I thought I wanted to do this video just to show this because I, I was quite pleased with how this turned out and if I was going to leave it as some sort of you know without the characters Kind of would have been happy with this, but I had a bigger plan for it than that. Uh, I'm going with blues and reds. So the blues um, to represent some, some like the sea or water, and then the reds to represent like a, a sunset-y type sky or sunrise-y type sky. Um, so I've used, I've gone in the bottom, I've gone with the lightest blue, I've used a Wedgwood, and then I've gone in with a cerulean blue hue, an aquamarine, and then indigo is the darkest. Um, which I see as a kind of greeny thing. I'm a bit colorblind as it goes. Um, not, you know, debilitatingly so, but, you know, I am. Uh, and then on the reds, I've got kind of a random post box red, a, uh, a lizard in crimson, which is something that I use in quite a lot of things. I really like it. Uh, and a cerulean orange hue. Um, so I'm just finishing the on the board now. I'm just finishing the first coat. I would have gone over the first coat, and you can see where... Where the white lines are now I've marked them out um, didn't like that orange obviously so uh, so I thought maybe there was too much um, the balance wasn't quite right I think I especially didn't like that dark blue spot which I'm about to paint out uh, there so using the orange um, which now becomes its own color because it's got blue underneath it and then I've gone over everything with a second coat I definitely would have done a third coat after this um, and I would have been I think at one point I kind of knocked it and it chipped off and I was a bit like oh shit um, and that was when I, I really regretted not having sanded it back but look I've got this far so uh, I'm not going to start again I'm not um, and I hope it's going to be fine with the, the amount of varnish I put on it on the end so yeah once I get to the end of this um, I start um, all the colours are solid. They definitely would have been a third coat after this. No, but there was, you know, why put a video of that up? Um, so I get to the end of this, and then uh, I would have gone back in with the white line and wanted to make the white lines thicker. So, um, so that would have been great. Everything gets, yeah, here we go. Thorough, aren't I? Yeah, something like that, a lizard in crimson. It's just that it's a transparent paint, so there's no way it kind of hold it own, hold its own without a few coats. Um, and it all looked kind of wishy washy. Uh, then I've, here I go, I've gone back in, making sure that the circles are okay, and then I'm going to, uh, you know, make sure I haven't lost um, the edges of circles and things like this. I'm using a, quite a thick, or a medium thick, Posca pen, um, and using, use the straight edge in there. Um, yeah, making it nice. Uh, I would say something about Poscas, yeah, I, I don't... Um, I don't entirely trust Poscas, so I would have gone, after I would have gone thickening all the lines up with the Poscas and getting them nice, I would have carefully gone over with the paintbrush and uh, painted it over with um, some sort of like titanium white or something like that. 
there you go, look. So it would have gone over, but I, again, I wouldn't have shown you a video of that because there's no point. So there it is as a standalone thing um, before I put any of the characters on. I think you get a little, a little view of a photo at the end of this. I liked it. I liked it. I've done quite a few paintings like that. Anyway, there you go.